The center of our work is the safety and well-being of our students and our employees as we prepare for the reopening of our schools. So with that said, part of our plan is actually making sure we have all the safety precautions in place as it relates to the logistics of our buildings, as it relates to the supplies required and necessary for safe opening of our schools, as well as also the day-to-day -day, uh, operations of our schools as it, as, it, as it relates to the logistics, how students transition from class to class, how teachers transition from class to class, how do we actually monitor uh, cases on a day-to-day -day basis and making sure we have all of those safety protocols in place in preparation uh, for welcoming our students and our staff uh, in this new academic year. I wanted to have an opportunity for our community to actually get a glimpse of what our schools are doing and what do they actually look like as it relates to putting measures of six feet distancing um, uh, between desks as well as um, all of the precautions and the safety supplies that are going to be um, displayed and accessible to all our school communities as they um, enter our buildings, as well as all the hard work our, our, our operations and facilities teams have been doing in preparation of the reopening of schools, with the main focus of making sure that we have all of our safety precautions in place to welcome our schools uh, our school families back in this new academic year. Good morning, welcome to Ian White School. My name is Jackie Glasheen and I'm the principal at Ian White. We are currently working on our safety protocols for the re-entry of school this fall. As you can see on our front door, we have signage that helps visitors know the protocols that we've put in place, such as we're a handshake free zone. All visitors must wear a mask. Uh, and if you're not feeling well, we ask that you not enter the school. In the Ian White main office, visitors will enter here and come to our receptionist in the main office. We have installed plexiglass so that we have safety for all students, staff, and families, and it is a barrier between visitors and school staff. Welcome to our pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade hallway. We wanted to share with you an example of some of the signage we have in our building, including reminders to keep six feet distance, we have arrows on the floor, six feet apart, showing the traffic patterns that we will be having at Ian White School upon re-entry. We also have touchless hand sanitizer throughout the building to ensure that kids have access to hand sanitizer whenever needed. Welcome to one of our upper elementary classrooms. As you can see, we have set up desks six feet apart to ensure student safety for both staff and students. Please note, although the physical space has been set up by our custodian staff that has been working diligently to ensure safety throughout the re-entry of school, teachers will still have an opportunity to put their stamp on the classroom and create a community for your students. The Hoyle Public Schools is continuing to follow guidance as it changes. We want to ensure all safety protocols are put in place so that when your students enter school, they will have a safe, and welcoming educational environment. Thanks for visiting Ian White. Hello everybody, I am Lori McKenna. I'm the associate principal here at North Campus. Um, welcome to North Campus. I actually just finished um, my first reopening team meeting with my staff um, to get ready for the 2021 school year. We are excited to plan to bring students back to school and teachers back to school into an environment that they feel safe and ready to learn. How about we go check out some of the things that we're planning for the year. In our main office here, we have put in a plexiglass so that not only the public can be safe, but also our employees can be safe when they work in the office. So here we are on the second floor. As you can see on the floor, we have green tape that's going to show students that the way they're going to transition from class to class. We will have one way that students will be walking around the building so that we um, keep it safe for students when they walk from one class to the next. This is one of our larger classrooms here at the North Campus. As you can see, this fits 16 desks with six feet apart. Um, right now, it's looking a little bland, but once one of our teachers gets in here and adds some spirit to it, it will be very welcoming for our students. You can also notice that the only thing that's in the classroom right now are the student desk and the teacher desk, so that everything else is clear to make a lot of room in the classroom. 
Students will be spending most of their time in the classrooms as we will not be using the cafeteria. Students will be having breakfast and lunch in the classroom. Um, right now we're considering some grab and go carts for breakfast as they arrive at the school. And then their lunches will be delivered to their, um, one of their classes during the day that they will be given those lunch packages from their teacher. We are working really hard here to make sure that this campus and all of our schools are safe and ready for our teachers and our students. It has been far too long since students have been in our building and we can't wait to see your faces. Um, hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye. This process requires a lot of flexibility in what we are tradi traditionally used to in a, in a setting, in an academic setting, um, will change and look differently. Why? The reason we are doing that is because, again, we're putting the safety of our students and our families and our employees um, at the center of our work. But at the same time, making sure that all our families and our students have access to an educational program.